Hi YouTube, I'm here with yet another product review video. This time it's the Nest temperature sensor. So if you're like me and you have a Nest thermostat at home, um, you know, sometimes you run into this problem that the temperature in your home is not completely even. Um, so in my case, you know, I have a dual level home um, and sometimes what happens is that, uh, you know, certain rooms which are like right above the garage uh, tends to be hotter than uh, the part of the room but which does not get a lot of sun <clears throat> which is on the other side of the of the house uh, so that's the problem that i'm trying to solve with this product i would like to prioritize certain rooms um and and make the temperature in those specific uh, rooms in the house uh, to be controlled and not necessarily be driven by where the thermostat is placed uh, typically you know you won't necessarily have the same temperature across the home as your thermostat shows because typically it'll take the temperature or the ambient temperature in the room that the thermostat is actually placed. So that's where this product comes in. Um, so Nest has this product in two uh, versions. So there's a one pack and there is a three pack. I picked up the three pack since I wanted to have uh, multiple areas of the home uh, be available to control. Um, so that's my application. So this has this is a three pack. It sells for about ninety nine dollars, um, and then if you get the one pack, that sells for thirty nine bucks. So depends on your need. Uh, so those are the two versions you get. Uh, the product itself is, as you can see, it's with the typical Google products or Nest products. A very very nice packaging. Um, you know, as you can see, the product model is A zero one zero six. I'm sure from time to time they update the model with new features and whatnot, but this is what I have in 2021. Um, and what the box actually contains is right here. It's got the, the sensors. Uh, it takes uh, three screws, which you can place anywhere on the, on the wall of any room or, or area you want monitored. And it comes with a one year limited hardware warranty. Um, so let's take a look at the product itself and uh, see what it's all about. Okay, so now as I open it, um, in here I can see that it has the usual manual right on top. So it uses the Net NS app to start the setup. Uh, obviously your thermostat will have a associated app um, which controls or allows you to control the thermostat from anywhere. Uh, so that's that and then it has this um, Warranty card, I already told you, it's got a one year hardware warranty on it. So there's that. And um, here are the main sensors themselves. So as you can see, they look like a, almost like a hockey puck. Um, a little bit smaller, obviously. Um, yeah, but it's, you know, it has a lot, nice little curvature on top. Uh, the whole thing is made out of plastic. It has the G Google uh, icon on top. Um, you might know Nest is actually part of Google um, and it has this uh, barcode which you can use or I'm sorry a QR code you can use to uh, detect it and uh, actually set it up which I'll show you um, and on here you see this notch which allows you to hang it anywhere so that's what uh, this contains and there are three of them so I'm gonna take this out and I see that uh, there's also uh, the three screws uh, they supply along with the product and they are made a little different because they are made for hanging as you can see here um, you know obviously you screw it in uh, with the flip screwdriver uh, but it's got this notch so it uh, you know sets on top really nicely uh, so it's made for hanging you could use this obviously you can place it anywhere like on a, on a bookshelf or something, you don't have to have to hang, actually hang it anywhere, uh, but it's really nice that they give you that option. I'll probably make use of this. So yeah, there are these three screws, the product itself, and uh, I believe that is about it. I'm gonna take a quick look if there's anything underneath. Uh, nope, there's nothing else in here. So the next step is to actually install it and see how this works.
So before I show you the, the installation and how it works, I also wanted to talk a little bit about the inside of the unit itself. Um, you know, in here, if I open this, um, you'll notice that um, this thing runs on batteries and it's a Duracell battery uh, that's in here uh, that, that I, I'm really glad they didn't put in some crappy battery in there. Um, and this thing, this uh, QR code thing that you see is something you have to take off uh, to activate the battery. Um, so just so you guys are aware that that's what this notch is for. So you just pull the stab and the thing is gonna be active. Um, and it's just replaced with a screw. So that's all that there is to it. Um, this is, I believe, a lithium battery. Yep, it is a lithium battery and I believe it's uh, it's called CR2. Hopefully you can see, see that there, it's a three volt battery. Uh, so obviously a bit special battery than just a regular AAA or AA battery. Uh, so that's what the battery situation is like. Uh, other than this, um, you know, I also wanted to mention that the overall sensors that you can place in your house is maximum up to six. So that's what the system is going to be compatible with. Um, it's not going to be compatible with just any thermostat. Um, it requires either a third generation learning thermostat or one of those e-thermostats uh, that Nest has. So that's all this is compatible with. So before you go out there and buy it, please look at the thermostat you have and whether this is compatible with it. Um, and also, you know, the, the sensor actually allows you to, uh, along with the app, of course, allows you to, you know, create a schedule. So you can put different schedules on when you need the thermostat to prioritize which sensor which means which room. And so, you know, there's a schedule uh, aspect to this also, which is really nice. Um, maybe one little other detail, the battery they say lasts up to two years. I, ha I don't have any practical experience of this, of course, um, but that's what this is. Um, you know, once you place it, uh, you're not going to be bothered with it for, for a while. And of course, as it starts uh, to create problems, you can all just, all obviously just switch out the battery. Okay, so the next step now is to actually show you how this works. Okay, so the process of setting this up should be fairly straightforward. Uh, as we just noticed, uh, this tab actually connects to, um, it has the QR code. So I'm gonna pull up my phone and open the Nest app. And in here, if I go to settings, I will find at the bottom the option of adding a product. So if I go add that product, I get the QR code scan reader. And as I come on top, it automatically detects it. And as it detects, it is saying it has uh, connected it. So it's starting the setup process now. So I say next. And as you can see, it starts connecting the sensor to my account. So now it has added this to my account, as you can probably see. And all I need to do now is say next. It actually asks me to pull the battery tab out. So I'm gonna do that at this point. So as I pull this out, it is going to activate the sensor. And um, I can then hit next. And then it asks me, find a good spot for your nest temperature sensor. Obviously I'll place it uh, here in a minute, um, but I have to go through the process now. So it's asking me, where am I gonna place this particular um, sensor? So I'm gonna put it, uh, you know, I have two thermostats uh, for both levels of my house. One uh, is in my upper level in the dining room, which is the lower level. So I'm gonna pick the dining room, uh, which is the level below. And I say next. So it's gonna now pair this particular sensor with that thermostat. So check your connection, it says, uh, tech next. So now it's going to actually connect the sensor. And as you can see, it has actually connected to the dining room thermostat. And I can now say next, and then say this sensor is going to be in the living room. So it's controlled by the thermostat that's in the dining room, but it's going. this sensor itself will be placed in the living room. Uh, installing a Nest sensor, so I'm going, I can either place it or, you know, put it on a wall with the, using that screw. 
Um, and at this point, I'm basically set. So I can say done. And so when I say done, it's actually completed the setup process. And as you can see, it now shows, uh, um, you know, one that I had set up earlier, which is next to the bedroom and this one, uh, which is by the living room. So I can now get two, two readings. So first of all, let me turn on the, the air conditioning, which was turned off, I noticed. So I'm gonna set this at, let's say 76 degrees. Um, in the dining room, the temperature right now is at 78 degrees. And I can see that I, of the sensors that I have, so this, this is the one that is at 73 degrees. Obviously the place I'm at right now, uh, the temperature is 73. So I can now actually pick which sensor I want the thermostat to prioritize. So I can say the living room, which is this particular sensor. So when I click that, it automatically will get into gear and try to cool the, the you know, to the, to the temperature detected from the sensor. So that's how the setup process basically works. Um, let me actually show you how this is uh, on the thermostat itself, uh, but that's how this works so far. Okay, so now I'm at the thermostat itself. This is the dining room thermostat that I was talking about earlier. So if I click on the thermostat, I see that there is a new icon that has appeared, which was not there earlier. Uh, this icon here actually represents the sensors. So it has, um, it's telling me the active sensor is the living room, which is what I had set up. So I can change that to either this thermostat. So, you know, the thermos, the thermometer that's built into this thermostat is what it will use, or I can use the living room. So I, I have the ability to change it from here or using the mobile app that comes with it. So here I'm going to prioritize the living room and not the dining room. So since we spend more time in the living room, so that's what it's adjusted for. And um, I'm gonna set it at 76 degrees, um, which is a com comfortable temperature for us. Um, so this is going to be in the living room. And um, that is the, about it. So if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.